To create your Zoom link for back to school night, you're going to go to zoom.us or the seq.org.zoom.us and you are going to sign in. And then you're going to click schedule a meeting. You can title it back to school night. And you're going to choose the date, which is the 15th, 6.30 p.m. And it goes until about 8.30, so I'm going to choose two hours. I'm only going to create one Zoom link because it's going to be too hard to close Zoom links and get into the next one in time, as some parents might stay a little later or come in a little early. So it's best to just have one Zoom link for the entire night. I'm going to scroll down and you do not want to use your personal meeting ID. You're going to choose generate automatically. You can create a passcode if you have passcode as part of your link. Make sure you turn off the waiting room for this night. It's going to be too hard to monitor parents coming in and out especially just like in person sometimes they come late to class and so you don't want to prevent any parents from being able to come in. Now, yes, there's a threat of Zoom bombers, but hopefully everything will be okay. We're going to make sure that you have a bunch of features turned off already within your Zoom account, such as screen sharing and um, that sort of thing. So I'm going to have the video on for host and participants, keep audio as both. Now in the meeting options, you do not want to enable join before host. I'm going to leave that unchecked. I like to mute participants upon entry so that they don't come in talking um, and you don't have to ask them all to unmute themselves or mute all. You might end up needing to do that if they unmute themselves, but this way this forces them to be muted upon entry. You are going to leave authenticated users unchecked for tonight. Same with breakout rooms and automatically record. You're then going to press save. And you now have this invite link or copy invitation. So I'm going to click copy invitation. And then I'm going to um, click the blue button that says copy meeting invitation. This is what you are going to need to post into your announcement. So I am going to just leave this open for right now and it will end up going into my announcement that I'm going to be creating within Canvas.